Here is the wall, the uh, Filmstar scanner. Just wanted to show you guys the machine running in the lab here. Um, yeah, this is the motion picture Filmstar lab. And um, got the cover off of the machine, got a bloodthirst loaded, and I'm just going to start up the unit here. We've got uh, some. Uh, I can't see much here, but let's start it up here. Um, basically, this is what I've uploaded. This is what's being scanned right now. At about um, what well, is going to be uploaded? I'm sorry, about 11 frames, or, or more like 10 and a half frames a second. Um, 2K, and it's dumping raw data to disk. And then this program, FS Movie, picks it up and applies uh, the color settings that you want and dumps it out as whatever file format you want, this being DPX 10-bit li linear. Um, this is what uh, is a good sequence here on the film. Did a minute here. See the film gate, similar to a spirit gate. Uh, it's kind of an amalgam. Uh, a bunch of different designs, ours as well, of course. There's a static side to the gate and an active uh, mechanism with a light amount of tension. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you this little video here. Covers are off. Normally, this section here is covered with. Uh, with this cover down here but we have that off so that's what's going on here smooth transport 2,000 foot reels and this is our our main camera here I am gonna try something on Tuesday with a different version of it that uh, should give us better results for high contrast data uh, you don't really see the problem that I was seeing on these these scans and uh, well, you'll be able to look at the images themselves. But, um, yeah. There you go. You also see on this screen output of our other camera. It's kind of dark right now. In this section here. But this camera is what's detecting the frames and analyzing uh other codes on the film um and syncing everything up so that's the um pre-scan camera right here right so you got two imaging gates one gate that's right here sort of our lower res gate and then the main imaging aperture here capstan of course here driving the film and then a supply and take up mechanism the uh, tensioning arms are rock solid stable. We worked a lot, very hard at that. To keep those guys maintaining constant tension on the film. We have an alternate path here to run the film for film cleaning. Um, the gate swaps out here with three screws, and this piece comes out for 16 millimeter, along with these two rollers here for 16 to keep the film at the same plane. The other rollers are duly recessed for 35 and 16. Um, you really only have eight rollers on the system. Um, that's basically it. So we'll end it right there. Bloodthirst on the Waldy Film Star Scanner. There's some other controls here. Um, that you can this is basically streaming the data from a data folder where it's, the scan is writing it it's picking it up and then dumping it out to disk with the settings here basically I've done nothing to the image straight through except if I apply to gamma that should be pretty reasonable you can see our min and max values right at the 12-bit dynamic range so um yeah, this guy is smoking. So I'll send this film back tomorrow. It's Thursday evening, and I'm going to go home.